Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. So the big story today is China outlaws ICOs. Uh, had a huge impact on the cryptocurrency market. Uh, basically, China has, uh, well, they've, they've really dropped a bomb on the market, not only outlawing the ICOs, but having an ex post facto law and uh, even potentially threatening uh, the trading of Bitcoin for their currency. So let's read the story here. China has officially outlawed ICOs. In a joint statement issued by seven financial regulators today, the world's most populous nation outlined why it believes that nascent fundraising mechanism is illegal under domestic law. Authorities backing this statement include People's Bank of China, the Central Network Office, Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, the State Administration for Industry and Commerce, and the China Banking Regulatory Commission. A translation of the statement reads, quote, ICO financing refers to the activity of an entity raising virtual currencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum through illegally selling and distributing tokens. In essence, it's a kind of non-approved illegal open fundraising behavior suspected of illegal sale tokens, illegal security issuance, and illegal fundraising, financial fraud, pyramid schemes, and other criminal activities, end quote either not a very good sentence or not a very good translation i'm not sure which the second article further clarifies what this determination means stating that as of the date of this announcement all types of currency issuance financing activities shall cease immediately adding to that it also demanded that persons or organizations who have completed icos shall refund the investors protect the investors' rights, and deal with the risk properly. It concluded with a warning that people who refuse to cease ICO activities or refuse to refund investors will be investigated and severely punished according to the law. The third article states that the regulation on trading platforms shall be tightened, quote, as of the date of this announcement, trading platforms shall not conduct any exchange business between fiat money and tokens shall not provide information and price for token trading. At this time, it's not clear how Ethereum, the largest platform that has leveraged such a token sale, and the platform on which they are being launched will be affected. Other articles prohibit financial institutions, such as banks, from doing business with ICO funding and warning about the public risks of trading ICO tokens. Market reaction at press time, the value of cryptocurrency assets issued by way of ICOs has seen a substantial impact on the news valued at a combined $10 billion earlier this week. According to CoinMarketCap, the market declined to seven, below $7.5 billion today, a 25% decline. Most impacted were the largest ICO tokens with OMIS Go and QTUM declining from total market values of above $1 billion earlier this week. To 781 million and 638 million today. So th there's the article uh, I've covered before. China does not like cryptocurrencies. They've tried to shut them down in the past and failed. They're trying again, and yes, they will fail. Um, but let's look at these uh, cryptos here. If you don't know what a token is, uh, the easiest way to think of it is it's a coin issued using another coin. So you can see here the type of crypto coins that, that allow you to issue shares. You got BitShares, that's one of the biggest. Burst, Counterparty, Ethereum, that is the biggest. And uh, then there's a Chinese one all the way down here, Neo, and then there's Next and Omni and Waves. Those are the major ones. Uh, now, the biggest market cap ones are going to be here on Ethereum, and you can see Omis Go here at uh, almost $800 million. So you can see that's only down 6.8%. That one's recovered quite a bit. This QTUM is down 45%. Uh, if we look at the NEO price chart, NEO is essentially, my understanding is it's basically the... Uh, uh, Ethereum for the Chinese and you can see that it's down a good 50 plus percent uh, still has a market cap of a billion it's trading on Bittrex with 122 million dollars volume so 
big big story uh, what does it mean well personally I think it means that the governments are really scared uh, if you think about it it's been the US and China leading the attack we know the SEC has decided that they have regulatory authority over ICOs which on both parts it's absolutely stupid first of all because these things are purchased they're not purchased with dollars they're purchased with a cryptocurrency you buy ethereum ICOs with ethereum so they don't really even have any business regulating it much less shutting it down but that's not going to stop them because they know how much of a threat cryptocurrencies are to their fiat monetary monopoly of trash paper money and trash digital money that they force on the entire world. So uh, the two evil empires right now, the Ch China and the United States, are taking aim at the ICO market. Now, of course, they're going to tell you that it's to protect you and that there's so many scammers out there that the people need to be protected of course that's a bold-faced lie look back at the dot-com era with all of those IPOs and what did the regulators do absolutely nothing and these were these were companies that were had their IC, IPOs through Wall Street they had venture capital all this stuff where we're talking about companies that didn't even have anything but a website that were in some of them a hundred billion dollar market cap which is the entire market cap of all cryptocurrencies put together practically so that's not the reason that has nothing to do with the reason it has to do with the fact that governments are threatened by these so how big of an impact is it having on the market well you can see here the the bitfinex price chart we've got a pretty significant decline here we hit a low of around 39 something uh, looks like 39.25 was the low that we hit uh, that recent price high in Bitcoin was around 49.70 so we've come down it's uh, near 25 percent correction in the price of Bitcoin um, you can see on the chart here uh, it looks like we actually have a penetration of support if we draw the trend line down here and get to well it depends on where you draw the support but if we put it right there you can see it's a breakdown below support how low will we go can't really say target maybe 3000 so uh, as I've told you I have been thinking about uh, possibly combining websites or shutting down websites uh, our website along with many other websites have suffered from a form of censorship by uh, financial strangulation I'll say and the powers that be have decided that the way they want to shut down the alternative media is to s just strangle their funding so that they can't survive now we moved a while ago people are still if I go to my YouTube channel people are still asking Where's Brother John F? What happened to him? Or if I do an interview with Elijah or with uh, Reluctant Preppers or with SGT or one of these people, then people come into the comments and say, where have you been? Well, I've been here the whole time on a member site, and I did that back in 2013. And the reason why is because I knew this was coming. And I saw my revenues already get squeezed. When we first started, it was actually very lucrative. If you put out a video that had 10,000 views on YouTube you could actually make enough money to make a living and this is a video that you know you by putting out a video say every five days or so now th that that has gone down 90 to 95 percent and so a lot of people in the alternative space are absolutely struggling so we've considered shutting down the public blog uh, and some other things it's kind of interesting that while I was exploring this idea today, I came across what may be the solution. Now, this is an ICO. I've never promoted ICOs. I'm not promoting an ICO now. Uh, I haven't recommended that members buy many coins, although I did say that I thought Florin Coin and Library Credits were two that I liked because of the fundamentals. 
Um, there are other coins I've said that I, I think might go up, but I've told you mainly what I'm buying. I definitely don't want to be involved with uh, any kind of ICO pumping scheme. But at the same time, I feel that I need to share with you if I'm going to invest in something. And I have spent the entire day investigating this coin. It's called uh, Commodity Ad Network. Uh, the symbol is uh, CDX. And it is an uh, ICO that's right, uh, right in pre-sale right now. And it's uh, Steve St. Angelo, the SRS Rocco Report, and Peter Froelich, who is uh, apparently was his webmaster for years and has been working on this project actually for quite some time. I think that the cryptocurrency part of the project is actually kind of a later add-on. But the idea is to create an alternative ad network that can go up against uh, some of these big ones. And probably Google being the biggest, uh, but we know that on Facebook and others that there's a strangulation of ideas, and it really ramped up uh, during the campaign election of Donald Trump. We had this fake story about fake news that came out, and it seems that the powers that be have decided that they're going to determine what is legitimate media and what is illegitimate media and they haven't really been able to make the argument convincingly so they decided to strangle the businesses by not paying them any ad revenues delisting their videos not putting ads and so this is kind of a shot across the bow and like I said I spent today reading the white paper it's 60 something pages I suggest you read that the fact the blog and uh, here's a little interview with Peter Froelich about this idea. I just want to play a little bit for you and then uh, talk about uh, how to get into it if you decide to. So hold on and listen to this. Yes, yes. And I think that it's high time. Exactly. Because if, if Google had, uh, didn't start with this campaign to demonetize uh, all these guys, then I think that it, it wouldn't... Uh, get such a response even in the pre-sale so we are we are at, at the right time in the right spot i think uh but again we i've been thinking about this for years it, it just all came to together at this at this very right moment but you asked about the future so how how uh, for example youtubers like yourself could benefit uh, that's that's basically stage two uh once we have enough uh, enough content creators uh, networked up and serving ads and we are growing let's say in a year or so then our, our next plan is to create a platform not not dissimilar to YouTube that would be again geared towards uh, independent thinkers and content creators who are already being demonetized in, in this uh, uh, on YouTube as well, so that that would be phase two, and then we also plan to create a social media platform. So basically, we are just making sure that if the worst happens, sorry, we froze up. So I'll stop it there. Um, so you get the idea. Uh, the idea is to create. Uh, advertising network that uses a cryptocurrency I think this one they're going to issue uh, I think it was 90 million don't quote me on that or maybe it was 120 and then 90 was going to be uh, what they released and kept 30 back but uh, roughly that amount I think they're trying to raise about uh, 10 million dollars or so now they did extend this ICO period uh, I think some people are a little bit upset about that, but um, if you think about it, it was only for five days, and that's kind of a mistake I think they saw later in that uh, if you have new people, people who are in this space, in the alternative media space, a lot of them aren't into cryptocurrencies. And if you don't have a Coinbase account set up, um, 
and you don't have a bank card linked already or specifically if you don't have a credit card linked then you have to wait a significant amount of time and it's possible that five days isn't even enough for people who aren't already in this space to to get involved so uh, I don't criticize them at all for extending it that's just extending the bonus period and uh, according to this it's uh, their minimum funding target has been met and uh, there's about roughly 17 percent towards their maximum funding target so yes I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few ethereum at this and uh, they're gonna have 300 uh, bloggers or content creators so probably gonna apply for that as well just to see because there's a chance that this idea or an idea like it could uh, be the David that takes on the Goliath of uh, the big uh, ad revenue outfits that uh, are completely dominating and basically censoring content on the internet now. Now, another reason why this is really good timing, I think if you go to, let's go to Poloniex and check uh, the Ethereum price, Ethereum has taken an enormous hit as well, which makes sense because it's uh, the biggest uh, coin for these ICOs. So right now you can pick up Ethereum for, looks like it got all the way down to almost 260. So if you are interested in it, in this, I would recommend that you keep a really close eye on Ethereum right now. I picked up some Ethereum around when it went right under 300 and I'm probably going to keep an eye on it and maybe pick up a little bit more Ethereum uh, down around if we get 250 or if we get a big plunge I might even buy more uh, for for this coin what does it mean well it just means that they're not gonna have as much money as they thought I don't think it's gonna be drastic but uh, they're looking at getting enough money to fund the operation for the first year which is going to be starting in 2018 now I think they plan to give a sign-on bonus for content creators of a thousand bucks or so and then uh, uh, I think they're either going to use the Alexa score of the site or maybe the current AdSense revenues but they're promising at least twice uh, the payouts and if you think about it, it makes sense, uh, as Peter says in the video, when someone tells you that they're paying you 45% of the ad revenues, how do you really know that? Uh, can you audit their books? And the answer is no. Yet, if it's on the Ethereum platform, you can easily audit because you can see exactly how many coins are coming in and going out. So. If you do decide to get into this ICO, and like I said, I've never recommended an ICO before, and I'm not recommending this one. I'm just letting you know that I'm personally getting involved in a small way and uh, probably will want to sign up as a content creator. But uh, if you are going to get involved, then the way you do it is you get some Ethereum, and then it's going to be, I think it's a My Ethereum wallet that you have to get it's all here in the fact uh, you have to get a my ethereum wallet and then they keep track of the address you send it to um, but like I said I spent the entire day looking at this thing it to me it looks like it's an above board deal uh, make sure you watch this interview with uh, Peter Froelich he definitely is a like-minded libertarian he sees the issue I've seen this issue coming for many many years and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do about it. Uh, I've actually been looking at having to shut things down because it's getting to the point where I'm funding them out of my own pocket. But uh, maybe this is going to be a solution. And hopefully if people do get on board with this and it's a big success, not only will it provide a platform for the alternative media to survive, but it may also be a very good investment opportunity for people who get in early. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk to you next time.